Hello, people. My name is Artem Shevelyov. Uh, this is Bitcoin Talk from Blackstone team. And today I'm with uh, Phoenix Trader and Mike, Bitcoin Wizard. Today we're going to discuss about Bitcoin, about altcoins, about whole crypto market. Um, so stay tuned to the end of this live stream. There is a lot of information going on. So uh, be sure that you have some questions for us. Uh, please ask them below this video in the chat uh, room, okay? And uh, please share this video with your friends. Put some thumbs up below the video uh, and check uh, out our pre previous videos as well. And stay tuned to our channel. Uh, we are having a new uh, videos. Uh, they name it like Easy TA. So uh, stay tuned to the channel and you will see, you will be able to see new uh, videos very soon. Okay, I'm going to start from BTC. And uh, yours, you can see a BTC chart right now in front of you. Um, I would try to, uh, I don't know what's happening with the quality of the image, but well, um, I think that this should be okay with, with a few, in a few minutes. Just let me check some um, information. Okay, um, uh, so people who connected to us right now, uh, please uh, let me know where, if you, where are you from, where are you watching this video, just put in the comments, uh, where are you from, uh, right now I'm in Kyiv, Ukraine, so uh, just share you where you are right now, uh, this is very interesting, where are people watching this uh, live stream. Um, so for BTC, yeah, all oh, quality is good. Okay, so for BTC, you can see that we are having a breakout. We uh, already mentioned it that before on previous live stream shows. If you uh, uh, watched us before, you already know the targets. We put some targets before, like three thousand eight hundred, and already the price is reached this target and already move it a hundred dollars uh, ahead. So we still um, looking for short entry here because we still in a downtrend. Uh, I mean, in a downtrend globally right now. So uh, we still trying to find better short entry for those who holding uh, BTC right now. Um, I will advise you to fix some of your BTCs and uh, put some rebuy orders uh, below uh, this um, price. I mean, uh, this area below uh, the actual price and uh, uh, above the previous highs. So this is only short-term advice. This is not long-term advice. So keep your mind on this. Uh, and as you can see on the other side, we have an um, uh, already in the over uh, boat area. Uh, so this is uh, like small trend changing. The bulls uh, losing momentum here and we are able to get, I think, uh, 4,100, uh, 4,200 area. I think that the price could reach this area in the short term as well. So that's why I'm calling for, uh, for those who are watching right now, fix some of your position now. Rest of your position, try to close uh, on the levels above. Okay. Um, nice. People who are watching us from Toronto, we have uh, uh, from Ukraine. Hi. Um, we have um from zimbabwe from bulgaria from france hi people uh this is very nice to see that uh, there are there is a lot of people from uh, different countries watching us today this is really really awesome uh thank you um okay um what i think about btc so i already said that we have some chance to go above 4000 area this is not really big change in the price, like a 5% from current price, but still this is a good uh, 
good area to fix some of your BTCs, okay? And I think that the price, when the price of BTC will reach this area, then the probably we are gonna see uh, some, um, you know, some of our coins, we're gonna see some retracements on our coins market. And this will be very good opportunity to take some uh, in your portfolio because as I see, like an, uh, like a ninety percent of our coins are bullish. They are in like, accumulation phases. They are uh, already in bottom. They like a uh, few months in the bottom already. So I think they are most likely bullish. So um, for for our coins, we're gonna check some our coins after a few minutes. And guys who are watching us right now, I ask you to put thumbs up if you like this video. And if you don't like this video, put thumbs up, okay? So anyway, uh, let's go next. So from BTC, here we are. We haven't just, uh, we, we right now developing this rising wedge pattern and try, I will try to um, highlight it uh, better to, uh, for you. Uh, let me just uh, check it and I will uh, show you to you, you to better see. Uh, so we have in here uh, something like uh, a rising wedge. It's commonly bearish pattern. And we still have some time to this pattern develop in the next few days, few months, a uh, few weeks. And uh, after the some period, I expect the price probably will go uh, downward uh, like this. Well, this is the first scenario for next weeks, okay? Uh, in each video of, uh, of this live stream show, I will try to update BTC direction so you will be know what, what is going on. Um, this is the first uh, scenario and I have a second one, I think, um, there is not not a lot of probability to see so, but anything could happen. And as I see, we could reach uh, 4,500 region or maybe somewhere uh, near this level. And after that, we probably going to have a retracement. So something like this. Um, so yeah, this is basic uh, basic scenarios for BTC on the next few weeks. So I mean about uh, the start of March or even till the half of the March. So um, this is the probabilities that I see on the market right now, okay? Um, okay, this for BTC, let me check what you guys, uh, if you have some questions about BTC right now, any question about BTC, I mean, long-term, short-term, when moon, when Lambo, when wrecked, I don't know what, what, what is on your mind, ask right now, okay? Because I don't want to stop really long on BTC. I want to move forward to check another coins. There is a lot of information to share with you. Um, so please, uh, ask your questions about BTC, okay? Mm. I'm gonna tell you what is going on on RSI right now. Uh, so RSI right now uh, is um, already, as you can see on four hour chart, it's uh, in a over, air, over both area right now. We don't have any bearish divergence on four hour chart, so it's okay. Uh, it's not really, really, uh, it's not bearish divergence right now. Uh, so RSI is still okay. But as I think that the price probably going to make another uh, higher high, as I said here, right? In the 4,100, 4,200 area. And after this, RSI is probably going to reach a um, uh, lower high on RSI level. So... And this will make a uh, bearish divergence here. So something like this. 
okay um this is how i see this and uh, the after this uh, bearish divergence we will, we will probably uh, make another leg down uh, to reach 3,600 area, to reach uh, 3,400 area, something like this, okay? Um, all right. Um, I will uh, check your questions right now. Enrique asking about BTC can back to 3,200. Yes, Enrique, there is a probability that the price could uh, reach 3,200 again. And um, I described this idea actually a few uh, videos ago. I described this idea really, really, um, you know, a lot, a lot of information about it. And I show it, it on my training queue page. So if you still not subscribe to uh, training queue page, it's free. So you can check links uh, below the video in the description. Uh, and you can find here my training queue page. So I described it, this very uh, interesting uh, combination of uh, fractals on market capitalization, and we're still going like this. So the price, uh, I, mean, I mean, market capitalization from 2014, 2015 uh, behave, uh, I mean, I mean, behave it, be uh, and right now the price behaving right like in the 2015. 14, 15. So um, we in a similar pattern structure or uh, already we're going up like, like this. So as you can see, the market here is moving uh, a bit slower. And uh, uh, it, this is because in 2014, 2015, there, are, uh, there is not many altcoins. There is no many projects. There is only BTC, Litecoin, Ethereum that were in, the, in that time. Uh, but in uh, 2019, we have a lot of projects. They are having a lot of interesting stuff. And that's why the market is pumping better and faster. Um, so we're right now in this green bubble. Uh, I mean, green, uh, not, not in bubble phase, but in this uh, green um, oval area. Like, uh, and this, in, we're probably going to make a dissimilar high or maybe higher high. I don't know what will be exactly, uh, but we will see. So this is main strategy for next few uh, months. And after, um, after reaching previous highs or even making higher high, we're probably going to make a uh, breakdown, really fast, strong breakdown, like we had this, like we had in November when the price uh, of BTC drop it from 6K to 3K, okay? So we will have pretty similar um, um, setup. We will fall down very quick, very fast. And if the, my, um, my theory is right about the market move, then the, probably we're gonna see the, uh, this, uh, um, this scenario that I draw it here, uh, this green, um, green scenario and after this red. So um, after that move, we will probably reach again 3,300, 3,200 area, something near it, uh, near these levels. So yes, Enrique, uh, the price of BTC can reach 3,200 area. I don't know when exactly, but uh, I think in the next few months. This is only a, like a probability, a very high probability, by the way. Okay, um, so this is basic idea. Um, next uh, a question, can you do APPC, BTC? Yes, of course, I will do it after. Um, is bottom in? Uh, no, I don't think this bottom in. We still not, um, Carol, um, I, I uh, answering your question. Um, we still not in the bottom unless we confirm it because right now we don't have a confirmation for bottom. So uh, as I told before for Enrique, we have um, this chart of market capitalization and to confirm bo bottom, we need to make this high and after high, we need to make uh, another breakdown to area of previous lows. Not making new lows, this is not, um, 
uh, this is not necessary to make new lows or make uh, uh, higher lows. Doesn't matter. We need to make the same move, like go up and then go down. Okay. So what this is what I uh, looking for on the market. This is why I'm um, I'm trying to uh, let you know what to do right now. So because of this uh, market strategy of this market uh, situation. Okay. So this is my uh, basic idea for the next months and for how to find uh, the bottom. Okay. So this is my uh, idea about this. All right. Um, so let's go next. Uh, next question we have um, uh, from Nick. Uh, what will be the max price action for right now? Okay, Nick, I, I think that you are uh, just uh, connected to us, uh, but I already described it that I am thinking that the price could reach 4,200 a region and after that starting to go down. This is the first uh, scenario, very high probability, okay? Next scenario, less probability, but still can, can go like this. Um, the, uh, we will rise again to 4,500 area or near it. And after this, we go back to 3,200 area. So this is all about probabilities. I um, like uh, about the first scenario, I'm like 60% sure for a uh, second scenario, I'm like 40 or even 30% sure. Uh, rest of percentages, like 10 percentages that will go down from these levels. But I, as I think that this is really small probability. Um, okay, because we have a really good breakout from strong trend line. Um, you know, we have in set up to go up from Elliott waves, we have a setup to go up because we have one, two, three, four, five Elliott impulse waves down. And after impulse waves, we need to make corrective waves. So we are in probably in ABC um, correction. Uh, so yeah, this is main. Um, okay. Um, Dutch Slav uh, having a question about, oh, I'll go and go down with BTC if BTC drop it to 3,200 and maybe new low for Alcon market? Uh, yes and no, you know, because, well, uh, first of all, when the market will go down, like uh, like I said, from like 4,000 area uh, or higher, I don't know, uh, when we will go down to 3,000 area, we are probably going to, uh, going to, uh, you know, um, going to drop very quick and the, the what will people do they will try to go out from this uh, ship like a rat they, because they will think that the ship is going down you know because they will think that the market is going to make new lows new bear market or something like this i'm not sure about new bear market but yeah, there is a, some probabilities. And maybe Mike Bitcoin Wizard will talk, uh, talk today about it. Uh, I don't know. But uh, still, we have a chances. You know, we have probabilities. And if you're thinking uh, prob probabilistically, if you think about the probabilities of that move or that move, you can handle your uh, risk management. You can handle your money management in the right way to make profits and to save your profits. Not just thinking, oh, moon, Lambo, no. You, you need to think strategic, like put some strategy, uh, strategy to go, when the price will go here, what I will do. Uh, if the price will go against me, what I want, gonna, I'm gonna do. This is main, um, main thoughts that you, will, uh, that you need to have right now, okay? Uh, so, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm answering to your question in yes and no, because if BTC will drop to 3,200 and rebound from this area, then I think the prices of altcoins go up after this. And for altcoins, it will mean that we will have some retracement and after that, a real uh, moon. Um, 
So this is main uh, idea about the um, about the altcoins um, and BTC. Um, uh, just uh, um, just a minute. Uh, Phoenix Trader connected to us right now, guys. Uh, I see just nine likes uh, for uh, this video. If you're watching us right now, watching 27 people. If you are watching right now, put thumbs up to this video if you like it. If you don't like this video, well, don't be uh, shy and put like a two, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel below the video and uh, use the bell uh, uh, button to receive notifications and reminders from uh, our channel because uh, there is a lot of information that we're gonna share on YouTube. Uh, hi, Phoenix, you just connected to. Hi, Vero, how are you? Oh, great, how are you? I am good. Great. I am watching. Uh... What do you think about the market? Same, same idea as that you said. <coughs> we are uh, bullish now for altcoin. May see some retrace or they retraced in the last two days, and we'll start move up. Mm -hmm. And we will see good moves uh, for many altcoin in this period. Right. Uh, market is good for Bitcoin after reaching. Uh, maybe make some retrace in this zone. Uh, after that, maybe 4,500 will be good. Maybe more than that because it cross uh, daily MA 100 and stay above it now. For stop yeah. loss, we can set uh, maybe 3,080 or 3,085. It, it, uh, it, uh, 3,800, sorry, 800, uh, maybe we will be stop loss for Bitcoin, uh, but it is good for you can okay, check so it, the same, uh, cross okay. it, uh, and right. uh, last day and yesterday closed above, above it, and if we check in the altcoin which uh, crossed and stay up MR daily 100 like Ethereum or Litecoin or BNB. Most of them make good move and reach it uh, or test last uh, support which broken when Bitcoin was uh, 6,000. So maybe I ex maybe Bitcoin reach until. 5,502 before the dump or see new low, I don't know, but this will be target for next period. Can check it daily better. Yeah, I just opened a daily chart. Uh, just right now on my eyes, I see that uh, TradingQ just updated their interface. Well, this is looking nice, but not very, um, not very um, familiar. Okay, um, yeah, we crossed it my MA one hundred, and yes, this is probably bullish signal. Um, yeah, for for me, I I check it uh, MA one hundred uh, on uh, two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen. We had pretty similar, uh, pretty similar. Uh, um, pretty similar behavior and let me just uh, show you what I have here um, daily chart um, moving average yeah my 100 I have here And now it, I think it will uh, take a work like support for. Uh, look, uh, look at this chart. Uh, I have here MA five hundred, uh, MA fifty, and the MA one hundred. So MA fifty is uh, this line. I don't know. Is it good to see this? I will try to make yeah, it. Yeah, we can see. It. Um, to maybe it will be better. Um, 
Okay, um, so, and the black one is the moving average 100. So, um, yes, uh, we have crossing for uh, MA here on the price action. What we have in 2014? Check it. This period is very interesting because, um, well, the mar market behaved in a similar direction. And I have here um, the cross and breakdown, and uh, we have here the cross and breakdown. So uh, this can, uh, you know, that, that allows us to think that the price will reject a moving average 100 again. And uh, I, I really don't know, will it behave like this? or it will behave like this. So, uh, and so we can uh, set it uh, as support or st stop loss if go under it again. I think this will be better or safer idea. Well, um, yeah, we need to, to track the price action because uh, this allows to until that... now uh, nothing i think uh, market is good uh, not uh, no uh we heard about uh, etf decisions uh, you need about one month or more than one month in this month you can see moving up okay if uh, result was is negative or uh, will be negative after that maybe bitcoin will dump you know what i uh what i think about the market right now we need to just make some confirmations like uh what 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 would we have a confirmation if we will if we was in 2014 uh well it's pretty simple just let me draw it we have here a support area right in 300 and uh like we don't know the the chart, right? We don't know what what happened uh, after, right? Like like this. Oh, um, sorry. I will use this just to replay. It. So yeah, what this one is better to see. So we have in one moving average to uh, one hundred price just uh, touched this uh, moving average. And what we have, we have only this support area here. And we thinking that market could reverse or just can show something else, right? Uh, so we think that if we stay above the moving average and go like this, uh, then we are bullish, right? Uh, but if we go under it, we should think what, what really we are, right? Where we are. and. Um, if the market goes to this support area, we should think that this support area can hold, right? And uh, yeah, probably gonna hold, but we have a stop loss uh, on this support area, a uh, real big and great stop loss for this. So if price is going down uh, against us, uh, uh, we just close the position below this stop loss and uh, wait for another levels down, right? So this is the basic uh, basic uh, strategy, right? For this. So um, what's going on? Um, so this is the basic uh, strategy for the period, and right now, and for and for period before. So let's back to two thousand nineteen. What we have. Um, so, yeah, the pretty similar st uh, stuff going on here. We have in the moving average 100. Okay, uh, we have in stop. Uh, we have in here as uh, real strong uh, support area. I'm gonna put it uh, purple here. 2100, uh, 3100, 3200, something like this, and. Uh, this area will uh, make for us stop loss. So if the price drop into new lows, we just need to close positions 
and uh, take something lower. But you know uh, what? What levels could be? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, the uh, uh, difference between current price I this stop loss is thirty percent. It is not a small uh, stop loss. I'm not talking to buy right now. I I today I say that we need to fix positions. Fix positions from BTC. Fix partially right now, and fix on after we reach four thousand area, because we in a bearish area. We try. We've tried to find short uh, entries right now, and uh, my thoughts about the market. I explained it uh, that we probably like a, a lot of probabilities here. We go up, go down to previous lows. And after that, recover. Okay, if not, we will break 3,100, go below uh, 2,800, maybe 2,500, something like this. And, and somewhere here, we will probably go sideways and recover. So this is the main, uh, main strategy for this move. I don't think that we will... Okay, for me, uh, may, only in one case, uh, may we see Bitcoin uh, break this uh, point. If we see altcoin all pumped and big bull run in altcoin, after that, uh, traders want uh, to fix them profits to USDT, maybe sell them Bitcoin. But in this period, I don't think there is any reason to go under this zone you know what because um, okay for altcoin many altcoin all altcoin lost at least 90 percent against bitcoin if we check them charts yes uh one minute please okay uh, i will try to continue from this yes uh, i understand what you mean phoenix and uh, i okay. don't see a reason to i don't see a reason to break down this level too yeah uh but if uh, altcoin we see big bullish in altcoin against bitcoin and, and bitcoin price was under 600 6000 in this case i think when uh, traders or walls uh, want to uh, take them profits and exit from market from trading uh, them profit from trading altcoins in this case, they will sell them Bitcoin and go to USDT and or USD. In this case, Bitcoin will. Uh, Felix, you know what I think? What I, what I, I, I think. I don't know if uh, people understand my point or no, because uh, you. Know. I understand your point because you you really describe it well. But w what I want to say, what need to break three thousand two hundred? What exactly need? Panic. We need panic. But uh, if you're gonna see um, recently, recent news, all news was not very good. Most of news was bad, really bad news, shit news. Uh, exchanges hacked, ETF not approved, and everything else. Uh, only good news from Binance. Okay. Um, what next? If we're gonna see some panic, but what needs to be panic? We already see a lot of bad news, but no panic on the market. R normal market, Bitcoin stays just sideways and okay. Um, so this allows us to think that to break 3,200, we need really, really strong uh, or market uh, news. Or just real big, like as you said, big bull run on altcoins and fixing profits from um, from big uh, amounts of money. And yes, I think this is possible to you know to have a to have a real uh, big breakdown to if if the, if the big money will fix their profits. Because I don't know how many uh, how many money make the Tron holders. I mean, from projects. I mean, I don't mean about the people who bought the Tron. I mean about the pro project um, management and uh, they are um, 
investors, real investors. Uh, I don't know how many money they made because I think they made a really a lot of money because they uh, make a short squeeze on BitMEX with, I think with a really high leverage. Uh, I, they made a real good pump on uh, uh, Tron, on Binance. They made uh, good money on selling BitTorrents. And after some period, they will make money on something else. So after this, all of these actions, they will try, they will probably going to fix their profit. All right. So uh, if you think another or you think same, just let me know. Yes. Thank you for clearing uh, more. All right. Um, we can see other coins uh, move or uh, yeah, let's check what, what people asking in the comments. Um, okay. Uh, um, Enrique uh, saying, I don't think that altcoins back to December prices, they was in the house. Probably yes, but still every altcoin uh, have a a lot of place, a lot of space to go down. So don't think that is not impossible. Uh, this is not possible because everything is possible on the markets. And when you're starting to think, oh, this shit is not possible, it, it will happen. Uh, I, I already know this. So uh, sometimes it happens that you think that you are like a god and you know what is going on on the market, but ex but you don't know exactly. So uh, you what you only can do, you can count your probabilities. What you will do when this will happen, what you will do when this will happen. So count your probabilities and um, uh, make your risk management. This will be good for your portfolio and will be good for your profits. Okay, uh, let's go next um, check. Uh, people asking about uh, what we have about all coins yeah let's go ONG. check some all coins someone ask about ong ong yeah very interesting shit uh hmm, where is to open this shit okay well I, i'm opening ong ontology gas while i'm opening this coin talking uh hit thumbs up below the video if you're still here let me know if you are alive ontology yes wow okay nice ta i have here nothing to add uh well this line is talking a lot of shit. uh this is 10 minute chart guys 10 minute chart this is not long term this is short term only short term uh well if the price will break this trend line that i have on the top then it is bullish okay that it is bullish and it will reach 22 24 and probably pro just probably 27 28 something like this maybe a lower 26 yeah 26 is better uh so so count your probabilities again if you okay with this risk management yeah okay let's go if not uh just don't take this trade because this is short-term trade I don't know where this shit coin is going because it can break down. You know, it can break down. I think so. It can break down. But uh, there is a, some probabilities too. They are pretty small, but still probabilities. So, uh, yeah, this is basic, I think, for this coin. Um, so if this level, like this support area here, um, if this area won't uh, hold very good, if they if this area will break down, then uh, go out from uh, ONG, take it lower, 7,000 uh, area is better to take some uh, entry here because price can just go up. 
and after it go, go up again. But very important uh, resistance is uh, drawn here. I will make it bolder and I will make it, I don't know, black. Yeah, so this trend line is just, we'll talk, we'll talk to you like uh, with 100%. I would add uh, alert here. If you don't know how to use trading queue, learn it right now. Uh, you can have a prob um, a, um, you can have alerts on trend lines. If price breaking out from trend line and you want to know that, create alert on this trend line. I choose this trend line, uh, this one. I choose th this trend line. And I put this uh, add alert button. I hit it, and I oh, I uh, you know how I'm using it. I'm using crossing. You can use crossing up or just crossing. I will use crossing, and I will use one spare bar. So when the bar is crossing up or crossing down this trend line, I I need I I should should I show how this <laughs> so uh if, if price crossing the trend line uh then the uh, then i will get a notification to my uh, android application or to my email or to my uh, uh desktop notifications so orange gbtc crossing trend line buy that sheet and sell okay so yeah, this is pretty easy and useful for those who are uh, not watching uh, every minute on the um, on the monitors. So you will receive a notification on your email. Just hit some buttons to buy and go. Okay, guys, uh, what next? Well, there is a lot of shit. Um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I send you some uh, alt Yeah, I see. I try to try to check what we have uh, before. Um, before before we have about APPC. I remember. Oh, yeah. uh, let's go check fast APPC and then go go next. Okay. Okay, yeah. guys. APPC, guys. Uh, if you're not subscribed to our Blackstone yeah. chat in Telegram, yeah. subscribe now. Um. I uh, attach it link uh, below the uh, video in description. Find out and click uh, the Blackstone chat and subscribe. I share it a lot of information in our chat, a lot of epic gifts, a lot of, a lot of epic analysis. So uh, join the chat. Okay, APPC coin, just very easy TA. Only two levels here you need to know. The first level 2000, if price break out from 2000 area, then the, it, it, this shit coin is bullish. Okay, first. Uh, next thing you need to know, we already in a great support area. For, the support area is located here uh, because of, well, because of I'm a magician here. Uh, so this is support area. Okay. Um, so yes, this is the basic analysis for APPC, it's bullish. That's all. Um, let's go next. Elf. Elf. Yeah, Elf bullish. Um, Elf bullish, and I shared this uh, with you on my trading queue page. Uh, selling Elf, buying Lambo Uris. <laughs> So yeah, this is shit is bullish. Very big bullish divergence. And yeah, this is really bullish coin. Uh, targets here, levels. So stop loss below the support area. So yeah, health. Uh, what next we have? Um, Civic. Yes. Like Honda Civic. Yes, Civic. I don't like Honda Civic. 
Um, what the hell is this? Uh, okay, we could chart. Um, weekly chart is nice. You know what? You know why? Uh, the Civic is having uh, lowering lows. RSI is almost uh, almost flat. Bullish divergence. Good. Go to three day chart. Price going down, right? And uh, what about the um well okay this um it's hard to hard to navigate on civic because of this long uh, weeks i don't like this oh shit Okay, um, so you can see here again uh, the classic uh, uh, bullish divergence. Um, the price is going down here, and the uh, RSI is going up here. Okay, so yeah, the Civic long term is bullish, and the, right now it I see it uh, already uh, made. Um, retracement so you can pick pick up the price and uh, sell it when you uh, want to sell because there is a really a lot of levels here and um, one here level so yeah double x here uh double x of your profits 45 percent 75 how many here 150 percent so nice a really nice project i don't know about i actually i don't know about the project really nice uh, chart so that's what i want to say um okay it uh, traded on many uh, exchanges uh, this period i try to yes, avoid yes. the altcoin which uh, traded on uh, on like civic uh, trade uh, korean trading it lot of yeah. it and uh, other uh, exchanges you know what i think about the market about altcoins uh, my basic idea on altcoins that old altcoins will go pump on nearest future on nearest weeks and months uh, as you can see uh, uh, xrp pump it first uh, next was Stellar. And after Stellar was uh, Litecoin. And Litecoin pumping right now. Um, what else? Uh, what else? Ah, uh, Ethereum. Ethereum. Ethereum, right. So, uh, basic idea about the market uh, structure. Uh, that, uh, hey. let, me, let me finish. Uh, the trade me, and where's uh, oh, move it good? Let me finish. Uh, Big coins like uh, I mean, big coins that project that's already uh, living for five or maybe four years already, like uh, Litecoin, like Civic, like uh, NAM, uh, or and other coins uh, that already existed a lot of time. They are probably going to be bullish on next uh, few weeks or even few months. I think they are bullish, and Civic uh, is showing us that it's bullish. And uh, Litecoin showing it bullish. Ethereum showing it bullish. A lot of coins showed it bullish. Okay, uh, continue, please. My idea, uh -huh. but some uh, project like Lysic didn't move the, until no. now. But I don't know why. It's a threat. Uh, where because it's good. Uh, I I think it, uh, uh, make big uh, move. I think Lift will make. Lysic is like did. Well, I have all TA here, and this is good TA. Okay, three days TA. Look, um, three days chart. Uh, just very fast and quick uh, uh, check of LISK, LSK, right? Uh, so uh, the similar thing. Go down, go up. That's all. This all TA that you need. Go and buy this shit. And price is really nice. 
really cool price. I don't know why you guys don't buy this shit, but this is really nice. Okay. Um, what next? We have Wabi. Wabi, very big symmet symmetrical uh, triangle. Yeah. You're right. Um, and I, I don't like I don't like it. I don't know. Maybe it's bullish. Maybe it's not. <laughs> That's why I don't like it. You know? Mm. I don't know why it's rising. Why There is a really big uh, volatility here. 50%. I donn't like it. Uh, not really interesting. But yeah, it could pump okay, next. Uh, support. Next. <laughs> next. Next move. Uh, okay, yeah. next we should uh, buy some next for holding. It is very cheap now. It is oh, only wow. 600 Satoshi. For a long uh, term holding, I think uh, next it is by in buy zone. Yeah. It is not on Binance, but. Fuck Binance. Um... But look, may, uh, if added to Binance, we will see it 20x or more. <laughs> uh, look, on NXT, you can just learn how to, uh, how to figure out the cycles of cryptocurrencies. Just super easy. Um, I don't know where to take it, but uh, well. Yeah. From high to low. It is very cheap to buy, I think, uh, for holding maybe $100 or $1,000 and forget it some years. <laughs> yeah, just buy and hold, yeah. Just... Wow, I will show you something right now, just, just a minute. Uh, this is just crazy. Um, well, I, I will, I will show you guys really interesting stuff here. If you are watching right now, uh, well, stay tuned. Uh, so very, very interesting here. Look at this go down and it's really going down. It is, uh, lower lows and everything like this. Yes. And, uh, let's go open every side full screen. RSI full screen from the same period. Look where this RSI is located 22.8, and this RSI located 24.3. I don't know. So it go up. Okay. It go up. And this shit is going down here. So this is bullish divergence. I'm in... guys, I'm ending this live stream and go buy next. I'm kidding. Okay, I will buy it uh, after a uh, live stream, but yeah, it's really nice. Just thank you, Phoenix, for sharing uh, this NXT. Because I forget about NXT, and this is really strong. Because uh, we don't see it on, on Binance, but... Uh, Fuck Binance. I, I, will, I will log into my Polanyi X. I will go to buy next. Wow. <laughs> I don't know where where it will. I where, I don't know where I will sell this shit, but this is awesome. Um, I don't know where I will sell it. I don't really care where to, where to sell this shit. Maybe after five x or six x. Yeah. <laughs> nice. At least for next in long term, I think it is busy, uh, very big. Profits. I think because we should. Uh, I think we should end good. this live stream right now because I want to <laughs> go and buy this shit. Uh, okay. Um, Goodbye, Zoom. Now. Yes, very nice. Um, <laughs> nice, really nice. I I don't really want to check other other stuff. <laughs> um, okay. okay, let's go check BNB. Um, BNB, what, what is BNB happening? Uh, 
I, as I see, BNB, Binance, uh, BTC made the new highs, a all time highs. So, yeah, uh, this is really good. Um, okay, uh, Binance Coin is following the uh, technical analysis for Binance Coin USD. I shared this analysis on my trading queue page. You can check it. Uh, I share it when the price was only like uh, seven. And price right now already 10. We had signal so, about buy and holding it for some X when it was yeah. five USD. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. I didn't yeah. buy for myself. <laughs> this is really nice. Uh, um, you know, because I made, price... I made only some scalps for it. I don't know why I didn't hold because in this period, two X or more. You know what? Uh, this uh, Binance Coin BTC price for me is still bearish. I don't believe that it will go to moon, but okay, if, if, if it will go to moon, okay, nice. But uh, USD price, USD price is more bullish for me. And as I see, we can reach uh, uh, 15, uh, 15 area and uh, maybe 17 area. So from current prices is about, 50 uh, 50 profits or 70 percent profits so i think this is really good for usd holders so if you still have some usd well uh, try to pick up binance coin on retracement don't buy right now buy on retracement and uh, well if you can see the price on daily chart is uh, making a bearish divergence here So we need wait uh, retracement and then buy because uh, at 25 February I think Dex exchange will start mm -hmm. and uh, Fitch uh, FTS I don't know if they have Eco EOC so know. it will may move more. You know what about the but risk to buy and holding in current price only for some trades i think because if bitcoin go down yeah if you want to buy binance coin for holding uh this is not really good step right now but you can use like three five percent of your portfolio size uh to add your uh, binance coin just in case of plump just in case because uh, they are uh, launching DAX exchange, right? Uh, uh, this uh, decentralized exchange. And uh, I don't really think that all liquidity will go to the uh, decentralized Binance uh, exchange. I don't think so. There is on the market a lot of uh, decentralized exchanges that was launched uh, before. They working very well. They have... Uh, uh, low fee and other stuff, but they are not popular. I don't know, will Binance uh, decentralized exchange will be popular or not? Uh, doesn't really matter. But okay, if it will be successful, I'm good with this. Uh, and guys uh, who watching us right now, um, put uh, thumbs up below the video and share it with your friends. And if you still not subscribe to our channel, well, just subscribe to it. Okay. Okay, we go next. Uh, let's check uh, some other stuff. There is a lot of inf uh, interesting shit going on on the altcoin market. Uh, so, um, you know what? We should check. We should check uh, material. We should check material. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it made a new loss again. Next. Uh, um, but really good to bull bullish divergence. Nice. Uh, really and good bullish this, divergence. Uh, and this zone is the lowest zone for uh, uh, Mithril uh, price. If you check it on... Uh, Queen signal, yeah, 
I, 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 the I, lowest uh, price for it. I'm opening this chart. I will when I started the uh, trading, this was its price. Mm -hmm. Wow, NEM dollar. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Here it look, it will go down 50%. I don't think so. <laughs> um, yeah, the same chart, I think. Uh, wow, wow, not, not very interesting, but... Uh, Yes, the, this chart is uh, very familiar to many holders of VAT, but the VAT chart uh, was like bigger chart, uh, but yeah, same chart. And it remember me Nexus, NX. No, I, 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 no. For but me, before not, um, not for me, I, uh, let me, we, we change, uh, check we change. Ah, fuck. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, well, yes, the same chart that we have on Binance, but better. Ah, the similar RSI. So RSI is similar, so I think this shit is bullish. Uh, I don't know where it will pump, but soon. Um, maybe like this, I don't know. <clears throat> well, about 60% profit. So yeah, this bullish divergence, tr triple bullish divergence here. Uh, triple lows, triple higher lows here. And I think that we are going to up after maybe some time. Um, but um, I don't know why it listed on Binance. If, if this is a shit coin, I don't know why it listed. But okay. This resistance should be broken uh, in the nearest future, I think. And when the price will broke this resistance, then we probably go to the 2K level maybe. So, okay, let's go next. Um, uh, check Tata, please. Okay, let's go check Tata. Uh, well, um, guys, uh, for Tata coin, I think we have in, uh, here a flat uh, market like we have on BAT, uh, BAT token. If you are uh, familiar to BAT token, you should know that BAT token is moving in a pretty similar uh, stuff, pretty similar um, flat range. Well, uh, Flat ranges are pretty easy to use uh, because you know the support, you know the resistance in a flat range. And um, uh, for this coin, for this coin, I don't know. We, we, probably we're going to break this uh, resistance of 27,000. Probably. Um, probably we're going to reach the previous highs here uh 38 maybe just maybe so hard to break it and i think hard because uh it uh it's main net after 50 days but before that it pumped uh, they pump it from one month because of this news yeah so when uh, before some days of uh, this news it will start go down 
risky to join it in this uh, period, I think. I don't say to join this because, uh, yeah, this is stupid to join on uh, pump it coin because it pumped it like 100% already. So, well, um, if market bullish, yeah, it's okay. But uh, we still don't know what, what's really going on. So, as a, just as a suggestion to break out from 27, real break out with uh, some candlesticks and uh, not like uh, this one, like like uh, um, weeks only, just uh, with a good breakout. Like this, we have a breakout here, down again, go down below and go up. So maybe something like this. Already retrace it. Not really big retracement, but uh, we have here a bearish divergence. So, well, I don't want to. I don't know what to say here more. It's just stupid to buy right now. Okay. What else? What next? Um, um, Zeal Ethereum. Very interesting. Zeal Ethereum. What we have in here? Wow, nice. Um, okay, 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 nice chart, really nice chart. I like how it looks like. Uh, this is um, expanding wedge, it uh, this type of wages are really, um, they are uh, really a lot of this expanded wedge is really a lot of on the forex market and uh, from this point it's still bullish for short term and um, it's going down here only because ethereum going up okay so ethereum go up here charts is going down so um but I think that Zilica is bullish on uh, BTC chart is really, really bullish. Um, from this chart, yeah, it's probably going to uh, reach this region of uh, this, this region probably going to be reached in a few months maybe. And uh, if Ethereum go up, then this will go to this area. And uh, after some time, it will go up again to this area. Just let me check it with level on um, here level. Um, something this. So yeah, this is basic. What next? Um, yeah, uh, very interesting question here. Where is Bitcoin Wizard? Mike, when you will connect to us? Um, I will try to connect you with him. Uh, just let me one minute. Um, Okay, he, uh, he said to me that he will connect us uh, and I will ask him again. Uh, okay, uh, what next? What we have? Maybe check Yo-Yo. We, we didn't check it for a long time. Yeah, Yo-Yo bullish. Uh, okay, Yo-Yo is really bullish coin. I don't know why people don't trade it, but um, the chart is telling that this this shit is bullish. That's all. 
So I don't know what to share more here on yo yo. I think this uh, just very obvious that the price is bullish, 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 bullish. Uh, you know, so really basic, really easy stuff to trade. We just buy and break out and making profit. So uh, my target one thousand one thousand two hundred. So yeah, I'm not telling you to buy now because it's pumping. But uh, if you want to buy uh, yo yo, it's better to take it here to four hundred fifty, maybe for four hundred seventy. You better take it here and go up again. Okay. Um, Nice questions from uh, Jay Constant. Uh, Icon, K, and OM, uh, OMG going to survive. Yes, they will survive. Um, for OMG, I have a chart for you. Man, this is really great. I don't know why people don't buy OMG, but as I said before, all coins that uh, have a lot of history, uh, like Litecoin, like NAM, like like OMG, they will pump in very soon. So I share it uh, with you guys uh, on February 6th. I share it with you, OMG, long-term vision. And uh, for me, it's bullish. So we have a big bullish divergence. Uh, really nice, uh, really great uh, bullish pattern ending diagonal, and the price is broke this ending diagonal right now, uh, just in a week ago, and uh, for long term it's bullish. I don't know for short term. I don't care because long term is bullish. So. I will buy more if it uh, this shit will go down. Will go like two five hundred or lower. I will just buy more. Mm, so plan your risk management, plan your uh, money management, and you will be safe on this market in the long run. Because if you come in this market for short term gains, you will probably be a short-term loser okay just take uh, in this uh, step in this market and take a long-term gain because if you trying to make money a long term i don't know what is your number like million dollars like two five or may or more i don't care how many but uh, if you playing for long term if you have a nice uh, and big goals for this um, for this um, uh, activity, uh, then you will be successful. Then you will have a lot of profits. And uh, you will have profits. Of course, you will have some losses because like in a real business, like in a real uh, world, sometimes you have to pay. Because if you run in a business, you have to, uh, buy some stuff to to sell it uh, with higher prices, right? Uh, sometimes you have to pay for uh, salaries you, and other stuff, right? In a real business, you pay and you earn, right? So the same thing on the market. If you are smart, if you're a long-term uh, trader, investor, then you will be profitable. And uh, you, if you play in smart, with a good risk, very important, with very good risk management and uh, uh, money management, you will be successful. So yeah, OMG is bullish. Okay, um, 
Guys, I don't know where is Mike. I uh, trying to reach him. Um, so uh, let's go next. Check uh, some other coins. What we have here. Um, um, we check it a lot of coins. Uh, let's check. Uh, well, let's go check Ethereum. What is going on with Ethereum? Um, Ethereum uh, looking nice, and uh, I think it's bullish. Um, for at least for uh, next weeks, it is bullish. Um, it, this is Ethereum BTC chart. And we're probably going to reach the region of 0.04. This is like a 60% probabilities that we're going to reach this area or even higher. Or even higher. So Ethereum is bullish for this chart. And let's go check Ethereum USD. Uh, so uh, on the previous live stream show, on the previous Bitcoin talk, I noticed it, guys, we have a 125 area for Ethereum. If this uh, zone will be broken, then we will go up. And yes, uh, that what happened. We reached it 170. I'm sorry, 150. And um, uh, bro, for me, excuse me, I should leave. Good luck for yeah, all. Thank you. Good thank trading you. for all and good profit. See you. Thank you. See you. Okay. Um, um, for the uh, Ethereum, we reach the main target right now. We're probably going to reach 170, 160. Just a probably. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about this, but. Uh, there is a uh, there is a chances like we had uh, like we have chances for BTC reach uh, four thousand two hundred area. So yes, uh, there is a lot of probabilities. So for Ethereum here, you can partially fix and um, fix rest on one hundred fifty five one hundred sixty. Okay. So yes, this is basic. Okay. Um, okay, what next? Um, let's go check zero X uh, because as I know, we didn't check at zero X for a lo really long term. Um, we didn't check at zero X maybe at, at all. I don't remember actually, but yeah, probably zero X is interesting coin and interesting stuff here. Uh, zero X uh, BTC chart, Poloniex have biggest history for zero X. I have here OTA, it was failed. I will just delete this shit. Um, all right. So um, for zero X, well, um, we have a bullish divergence. You can see price going down and the uh, RSI go up. Bullish divergence, nice. Um, next, we need to find support level. Uh, support level here on uh, 560. 570 area uh, and uh, goes down to 500 area. Pretty big support area. I don't know will it reach it, but there is a probabilities. So if we are making this resistance line, we will have a great buy breakout opportunity. So I will place alert on 0x on the crossing uh, this trend line by 0x. And um, 
yeah, this is basic, I think. A basic uh, TA for zero X, nothing else. Uh, four targets, easy as, I don't know what, easy, really easy, 7,500, 8,000 level, um, 9,000 level, 10,000 level, 11,000 level, so pretty easy. Um, so yeah, this all for the rigs. Okay. Okay, we have really interesting question from our viewer Cry P. Um, you say that some altcoins will be winner for long term, but if BTC drop uh, to 1,200, uh, 1,700 area, uh, all market will suffer, even OMG and other, because uh, better to wait this a big dump before buying. Well, uh, again, yes and no, because uh, two, uh, there is a two probabilities. The first probability, we are not going to 1,000, uh, 700 or lower levels we not if we're not going to these levels then you should buy something right now right because we have a winning setup we have a lot of bullish divergences we have uh oversold prices and uh why not buying where when bad news coming i'm buying when bad news coming because when good news coming most of coins, most of projects already overpriced, already are uh, expensive. And when you prime Binance coin with good with good news, it's probably a mistake because in the long term it probably go to retrace and uh, you will you will have a better opportunity to buy. So coins and projects with bad news, uh, a probably better investment for long term, and the uh, market is not dead, and uh, probably is not dying. Market is just making correction. Um, so yes, for uh, you should buy something now for holding. Yes, how much? Because this is really important. You you don't need to ask buy right now or buy when price drop no you better to ask how much to buy how much from my usd value i should buy right now for holding this is the right question and i will i will answer this question for you uh like a five seven percent you can invest in coins that is having a bullish setup, bullish divergence in a big scale. Not like zero X, it have a bullish divergence, small bullish divergence here, like uh, OMG have. OMG have on three days chart from August till uh, January or even till February, it have a bullish divergence from August. Think of this. This is big scale and the big bullish divergence. Uh, this doesn't, doesn't mean that prices will make a huge pump, but it means that price is probably going uh, higher and higher after uh, some period. So in the big scale, if you have bullish divergence, this is really good, really great. Uh, and the price is uh, cheap price drop at 90 percent price drop at 87 percent something like this yes this is good investment and uh if next next uh, scenario if bitcoin making new lows if bitcoin going down going 2k going one uh, 1.5 1.2k i don't care how many uh if all things is getting worse and all shit going down 
if you are uh, really good in risk management, you invest it small, uh, you loss, your loss in this position will be so small, like a nothing for your portfolio. If, if things go, going nasty and going worse. Uh, so you lose, you losing not much and uh, this is good. Uh, you, and when price drop, you just buying uh, for holding that you wanted to buy or you, you already have uh, and, or if you see good setup. And after this, it will probably go up not to all time highs, but correction should be. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think I answered your question because this is, uh, this is main strategy and main question that you should ask how many percentages of my portfolio I should buy right now if I see good long-term setup. Okay, and answer is, three, five or 7% from your portfolio. Not bigger than that. If everything is going good, or you already bought three, five, 7%, you can add more after some period when you see the price going up, going good, market is healthy, market is uh, showing good sentiments. You just add more. And it will increase your profits in long term again. So think of this. Mike, Bitcoin wizard, just connected to us. Mike, hello. I don't see your microphone, uh, but still hello. If you connect your microphone, it will be great. Uh, I'm waiting for Mike. Uh, he will connect his microphone. Um, Okay, Mike just connecting he, uh, he, and he will show us his uh, view on uh, the market right now on the Bitcoin, maybe on some altcoins, I don't know. Um, so stay tuned, just in a minute, he will connect to us. Uh, if you guys watching us right now, put thumbs up if you didn't put, put thumbs up yet. Uh, so we will know that you are live, that you are watching us. And if you have some questions, ask them in the comments. Uh, welcome, Mike. I, I think I can hear you. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, guys? Hey, great. How are you? Uh, low or loud? Uh, normal. Normal? Yeah. Better now, right? Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? How are you doing, man? Sorry, I've been uh, very busy lately. Not a problem. Uh, how are you doing? It's all good, man. Uh, okay. What are you talking about? Um, Bitcoin? Well, we talked a lot of today about Bitcoin. We already talked a lot of uh, altcoins. So share your vision on Bitcoin and I think uh, on Ethereum if you have some vision. Uh, let, let me let me see the chart. I haven't, I haven't seen it. Um, Okay, Bitcoin. Um, I don't see it for next. Oh, I got it.
and my computer is dying so slow. Why? I don't know, man. Some too many. You know, I think TradingView uses too much uh, processing power. Yeah. For uh, you know all these charts. It actually needs a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, uh, RAM to to drive. Uh, yeah, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, like, I don't know, like 15 charts at the same time. That's yeah, why. I have so as well. I, I say I, I move it to Safari browser and it's better for me. Uh, you using Chrome or else? I'm using uh, Mozilla okay. and yeah, and Chrome. Yeah, for the charts uh, I use Mozilla. Chrome, uh, my my uh, training queue was so laggy. I don't know why. Oh no, Safari is better. Well, you have PC, so I don't know if Safari is good on PC. I don't know. Uh, it sucks. Okay. <laughs> hey, so um, yeah, uh, we have the this little triangle similar to the one a um, few years ago on the 2015, somewhere around there. Um, mm. Yeah, we just got a breakout, but let me load the four hour chart. Yeah, I see there's uh, some kind of continuation pattern here, like um, ascending triangle. And, you know, the same various divergence that I draw. So this means that the price is going to do an over high. And this is going to go like this. And probably that will be the last the last pump because we are extremely oversold on on a daily chart too so that value is around 4200 on on finex we also have strong resistance if we see the weekly chart you see it's so slow man okay um i have an alarm for this RSI level around 44, let's say 42 or 44. Uh, and I'm waiting for the RSI to get close or hit it. And waiting for this stochastic RSI to go all the way up. And that will be the end of the correction to the upside before uh, making a, a move, uh, you know, the final move, the final capitulation, which I believe is going to be in the next uh, around 60 days or so. So, um, you know, things uh, haven't changed too much from the previous analysis. There's not too much volume here. It's quite boring. But we will get some uh, um, bull trap like here before going lower. So my recommendation here is just to don't buy anything else. Don't buy more Bitcoin right now. Just sell what you have in this range and just wait a couple of months to buy it much cheaper. And then you can hold for uh, like five or six years, which I believe will be the top of the next bull run, at least in 2024 or somewhere around there. And it's uh, nobody knows how much it's going to reach. Probably 200,000 or 400,000. Who knows? But yeah, this is it for now. Um, you said Ethereum. Yeah, I agree with you. You and uh, share it pretty same thoughts about that. We need to focus on fixing profits right now. Don't buy more on Ethereum or <laughs> on Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, is that a new coin? Ethereum. Ethereum, yes, yeah, new coin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's very overbought here. 150. What? You see, no, no bearish divergence yet. No, no, not on, yeah, no bearish divergence. It's going to form, um, the last in the last pump, and that'll be it. So it's pretty bad. You see, um, yeah, this testing important. Uh, look, look uh, make 
uh, resistance from all time high to to this make resistance from all time high to these uh, levels yeah it's broken not in logarithmic scale if you connect two only yes not broken if you connect more just put it uh, lower Did you use log scale yeah It is broken if you connect more highs, uh, like put it a bit lower, it will uh, overlap some uh, candlesticks, but still will be uh, the same. Yeah, like this. Exactly. You know, uh, we talked about the downtrend lines a few uh, streamings ago, well, many streamings ago. Yeah. Um, and they're kind of like, useless to me because i've seen it many times that we break them and then we go lower because they tend to disappear right in time so they are no longer support to me uh the horizontal lines are much more reliable for uh support or resistance you know we we have seen this in bitcoin you know broke many times and then form another downtrend so um, there's no way for Ethereum to be like bullish if Bitcoin is going to go down. Um, I don't know, man, at this point, I would say uh, 150 to 165, it's a sales on. And, hmm, you know, the, the, the weekly average is still a little low. Well, let me see. It's really low. Yeah, this is this is actually what I'm waiting on Bitcoin to do, right? Some, you know, to test this previous uh, resistance. But remember, this is a weekly chart, so it can go over it before the weekly close, and then if a bit dump happens, then it's gonna come back down, and it will it won't be a breakout, which I believe that's what uh that's what it's going to do. Hey, do you think that Bitcoin will reach 3,200 and uh, will not bre break 3,200? Uh, uh, according to 2014, 2015 year, we, it probably uh, it is broke uh, the similar um, setup. But uh, for this year, don't you think it will move like this or it will... Um, will not break there is some probability right wow like one percent <laughs> wow i don't know I, I don't know i mean i lost the chart but i made a i made a whole study about the moving averages but you know i um i hide the price and and then i load the moving averages and if you let me let me see if i can do it i remember this chart yeah this i chart posted on the wizard channel and the conclusion was that, you know, it, it still needs to go lower. Uh, the um, 200 weekly needs to go to around 2,400. And that will mean that Bitcoin needs to drop to like 1,000, like 1,300 or something like that, right? So there's no like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't believe 3,000 is going to hold. I, I don't think so. Because... Uh, when we get this second peak on the RSI, that thing's gonna drop so hard, man. Like we did from six thousand dollars, and it's easily it's gonna reach um, uh, seventeen hundred or thirteen hundred. There are some altcoins like uh, X. Let me double check. Or. Right, is what I thought. Yeah, I, I've been giving signal for oh, you too. You you also did it for uh, Stellar, because we had this um, spinning bottom on a weekly chart. I have a very... Stellar BTC chart, and uh, I think it will make some rebound and uh, go lower. Ah, yeah, this is Stellar BTC. Uh, so I think the price probably going to 100, uh, 1,800 or even 1,500 area. Yeah, it will retest the previous. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So and go down. 
some some altcoins uh, have good charts like this one, yeah. and the only way uh, for them to reach these uh, tops is uh, that Bitcoin doesn't drop too fast yet. Like it maintains around four thousand dollars or thirty eight hundred or forty four hundred for uh, um, at least two more weeks, I would say. Hold on, my camera. I don't know. So some altcoins still have chance to, you know, do a little pullback, gain some value before Bitcoin drops even more, so they don't get uh, damaged too much. But this is what may, makes me think that the drop is gonna come around. Maybe uh, I don't know, man. A month from now. It's hard to say, bro. But um, Stellar. You see Stellar here? Uh, Stellar USD. Stellar USD. Yeah. Oh, just. Uh, ah, right here. Stellar USD. Yeah. I want to see what it's doing. I actually have some. I bought it like. What is the version? Oh, ninety cents. Nice. Um. Yeah. That was a double dodgy, but if you uh, put it in a two weeks chart, you're going to see a big dodgy. I think it's going to go up uh, really nice. We talked about Stellar at seven cents months ago or last yeah. year, I think, right? Yeah. And I said I was going to buy some, and I, and I did. Uh, I'm holding for now. I think it's going to reach 14 or 15 cents. Yeah. Or around here. Make a new all time high. <laughs> But I think it's gonna make a, a good move, a pretty good move, uh, yeah. somewhere around here, and then drop again, maybe a double bottom, or a higher low. Yeah, higher low to make some like a ascending triangle and go up again. Yeah, but uh, well, it seems like a pretty good investment from you know at this point. Yeah, as I see on USD price, there is a lot of uh, coins really a lot of coins so that have good setup to buy and hold and that's why i'm calling for a lot of uh, already for three um, live streams in a row <clears throat> that we should some buying something for holding and people still not believe me yeah well it's kind of scary because you know bitcoin hasn't finished the correction yet but they we don't rebound. know it. We don't know it for sure because we don't know the next move, and uh, it's okay not to know what is going to be next. But I'm looking at altcoins, real a lot of altcoins with big history, and they tell me that we are probably going to have some correction, like a thirty percent correction or fifty percent correction from previous move, and this is big move. Yeah, it and, is. Uh, a lot of profits. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, you know, the, the MACD histogram is showing a bullish yeah. divergence on a two-day nice. ch chart, right? Nice. Really nice. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm like pretty sure it's going to hit at least 14 or 16 uh, cents, which is a very strong resistance. I don't think it's going to break it this time. Um, we also have a divergence in volume on a two-day chart, on a daily chart. Yeah, it's a big thing now. It's good. Yeah, I've seen some altcoins have uh, good charts too. Nice. <clears throat> well, this is confirming the whole thoughts about uh, what I sp spoke about this um, live stream. Uh, so, Mike, do you have something to add, to add today, or this is all what you what you have? Yeah, there's not too much to do here in the crypto world. Like, it's very slow. Show something from patient. stocks world. Something interesting. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Stocks, they so many opportunities there, but you know, people just want to stay. Um, like, uh. Stocks is good for trading and crypto is good for, you know, buy and hold at this point. Like some altcoins, like you said. 
but actually stocks are more tradable because they are not, you know, the, the tools are better. You have better stop loss, better exchanges. Here, man, you like, it's crazy all the weeks or the, all the manipulation. I don't know, man. Great. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, guys, to finish this uh, live stream show, I want to thank everybody who joined us today. Uh, thank you, Phoenix Trader. Thank you, Mike, Bitcoin Wizard, to join us today. It was really nice to see you guys today. Um, for those who are watching us right now, don't forget to put thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, below the video in the description section, I uh, attached our social media links to telegrams, to trading queues. Hit them and subscribe and uh, uh, see what's going on new on our channels and our uh, social media um, networks. So thank you for watching us. Um, thank you for attending for today. Uh, stay tuned to uh, to YouTube channel. I will prepare a new easy TA video very soon. And uh, don't forget to vote on previous easy TA video uh, to vote what coin I will check. So thank you guys uh, and goodbye. Have a nice profit. Hey, we have the same haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>